Yeah, yeah if the folks move that way. I've been going to court for three years. The guy got a lawyer. He's trying to get manslaughter. I'm not going to let that happen. It's hard for me to say because right now I could have been taking her to college, picking her up. I can't hear her lie. I can't hear her no more. I'm from around here. I've been here since 1976. I know everybody. They ain't got no right to take her away from me. It ain't going on like that. Thank you. Let me, let me. Let me say, I want to be real quick, Bon. She, she should not, no family should move on. First of all, they can't. But Gunshots. We thought we heard them on um, the alley, but in reality, we came out. We came outside and just see that the guy was laying in the street in the corner. Where was it exactly? Um, right there in front of that one side. You can see the blood. He blood was, is right there. Yes, that's his blood. He was laying on his side. He was he was facing this way, the back. His back was facing all the house on that side. I was really scared. I thought that my, maybe some of the bullets got into the house. My little brother, he was in the living room. I just ran when I heard the gunshots. I didn't know what to do. When I came out here to uh, re uh, record a shooting at 54th in Albany, and I've been sitting around, and now that I look, I'm looking at where the person was shot. And the, the crime scene was out of here, but you know what? There's a bullet right here in the blood. There's a bullet right now, right here. I'm looking at it right here. They're not out here, man. They left. I didn't know it until right now. I just seen it. They must have missed it. My name is Joseph Carrillo. They must have missed it because it was it's, it's upside down and it blends in with the with the with, with the, the blood. blood and everything. You have to come real down to look and see. But the, yes, he was shot. Yes, he was shot right here. Maybe at around. Two o'clock, I'm over here doing the video footage. But right now, I'm sitting around to upload it, and I take a good look, and bing, I find a bullet right where the guy fell. It's right here, right in front of my face. Because I want, I want them to put the guns down. I'm tired of the violence. I'm tired of people dying. I'm just tired of it, man. Too many people are getting killed. For Too many nothing. They killed. need to put the guns for down. For no reason. For no you know reason. what? They ought to pick up a, a, a Bible and, and put the guns down. That's what they need to do. Put those guns down, man. Let people live in peace, man. Let's love one another. Like Jesus loved us, right? That's why we're here. We gotta we got show everybody peace, love, control. That's what it is. Not out of control. It's love, man. So your advice to the young kids right now that are out there doing the shootings and everything? Man, you better you better take that shit away. Give them baseball bats, mitts and gloves and start playing some sports like we did. You know, do, do something good with their lives. Get those guns, man. Love misery, man. 
Hey, they're lucky they don't shoot themselves, man. Let them shoot somebody else. Right? Is this, uh, is this what, uh, Pilsen? Is this Pilsen? Everywhere. Everywhere. Where you guys, though? What neighborhoods you guys from? No, no, we're, we're, hey, we're from everywhere? Okay, from cool. The city of Chicago. City of Chicago, all right, it's cool. That's good. Chicago That's a good answer. You put me correct, you're right. It ain't about from where you're at, right. People right. of the world, that's, that's it. That's right, to love one another, stop this violence, put the guns down, come on. We can do this, man. Other, other cities are doing it, why can't we? What's going on, man? Like, what is it, uh, what is it supposed to be, uh, oh, uh guns are us? No. That's what it is, guns are us? What the hell's going on? Let me, let me, let me say, I want to be real quick. The time I stopped in their living room, how they basically, I think they think right now they've adopted me as a member of their family. <laughs> native viewpoint here this is the same thing it's white supremacy whether it's black brown or red we all have the same enemy until we get together stop fighting one another and fight the real enemy then the system comes down power to the people